All right, so models are mainly used when we want to indicate our attitude to what we are saying, okay? Or when we are considering how what we say will affect the person we are communicating with compare, with comparison, when, compar when comparing, okay? So uh, here it should be with the person we are communicating with comparison, really, it should be here, okay? So what does this mean? Models are mainly used when we want to indicate our attitude. We want to express how we feel, all right, about what we are saying, a way to communicate and consider certain things, right? So she's the oldest versus she might be the oldest. Well, here the model shows that the speaker is not absolutely sure that the statement is true. Okay, so that's why when we use might, we use it when we are referring to a possibility. Close the door versus could, would, will you close the door? Here, the models turn an instruction into a polite request. Instead of instructing, telling the person what to do, this is a polite request, okay? So close the door. We tell the person what to do. We instruct them. We tell them. Could, would, will you close the door? You are asking. You are making a request, okay? So that's what's going on here. All right, so we have here some basic characteristics of models. Models are always followed by the based form of the verb. Okay, so let's see what that means. I might play tennis tomorrow. Okay, I might play tennis tomorrow. It is something that I possibly may do. I might do it. It's not certain, but I might do it. You ought to tell her. You should tell her, right? It's the same as using should. That's what it means. Ought to and should are the same. Okay, so should and ought to are the same. So you should tell her. You ought to tell her. Okay, sometimes a model is followed by the base form of auxiliaries have or be, followed by a participle. What do we mean by this? Let's have a look at the examples. I might be playing tennis tomorrow. This is might be playing tennis tomorrow. It is possible that I will be playing tennis tomorrow. Okay? So we have will be playing. This is future continuous, right? When we say I will be playing, okay, no, basically they're the, they're basically the same, Sergey. Okay, so should and ought to are basically the same. Uh, should I could say it is a little bit more commonly used. Yes, but yes, it is actually more commonly used. But the meaning is the same. Okay. Okay, so we have here. You're welcome. Um, I might be. So this is from I. So. When we say, I might be playing tennis tomorrow, it is as if we are saying, it is possible I will be playing tennis tomorrow, okay? This is what we mean when we say, I might be playing tennis tomorrow, okay? That is what we are saying. So we are using the future symbol in, in this way, um, that's how you have to see it. So when you want to say, it is possible I will be playing tennis tomorrow, we say, I might be playing tennis tomorrow. Okay, instead of using, it is possible, we just say, I might be, and we replace will also. So we remove, it is possible and will, and we have, I might be playing tennis tomorrow.